How would you like to feel more creative, organized, and in the moment on your next shoot? In this video, I'm sharing how my Apple Watch helps me do exactly that and why it's become an essential piece of tech in my photo kit that I bring with me on all of my shoots. In this video, I'm breaking down how I use it, how I customize my Apple Watch as a professional photographer, including some of my favorite must-have apps for on shoots. Let's dig in. This first tip is one of my favorites and it's actually what inspired this video because my fall wedding season just kicked off as a wedding photographer. And if you've been around my channel for a while, you know that I always talk about how important it is to be proactive in creating great images. One way of doing this is always having a photo timeline, whether it's a small portrait shoot or something as big as a wedding day, so you can really own and control the flow of the day to set yourself up for success. I actually have a full video on this if you're a wedding photographer that I'll link up in the description below as well to check out after this how I put together my ideal photography timelines. And I even have a really cool timeline template tool that I created that auto generates the perfect timeline based on the ceremony time and if there will be a first look or not. I share this for free, so I'll drop all of that in the description below for anybody that's interested. But the tip for the watch is to essentially take that timeline or your game plan for the day into Apple calendars. So I'll plug in each part of my timeline into Apple calendars. And what this does is when it's synced with my watch, I have a complication set up where I have it synced with the calendar and the timeline event will show up right here. And because it's set to do 10 minute before reminders, I'll always know what's on deck next. So it, it pops up my thing 10 minutes before, so I know what's up next. I know that I'm on time and I don't have to fuss with my phone. I don't have to look at paper timelines and I don't have to constantly be checking with my assistant to be like, what time is it? How much time do I have? I can just very quickly glance at my watch and this keeps me in a very creative flow throughout the day where I can just at a very quick glance, see where I'm at, See, am I, am I on track? Are we running a little bit behind? And it can very quickly in my head do any adjustments that I need to do to keep the day flowing good. One last quick thing that I want to point out for this is if you look down here in the corner, I also have the World Clock app set up to give me the time of sunset. And even though my timelines for shoots are already planned around sunrise or sunset for that best light, this just gives me a quick glance at what time the sunset is in relation to the timeline on my watch so they can really quickly look and make sure that I'm on track to take advantage of that most beautiful light. The next way that I love using Apple Watch on shoots is particularly for wedding days and it's for hands-free communication. And this is super important because oftentimes there's a lot of moving elements on wedding days. There might need to be communication with my assistant, with my second shooter, videographer, the wedding planner, but oftentimes my phone is going to be on silent inside my bag. It's just not something I'm constantly carrying with me and I think it can also be unprofessional to constantly be on your phone on a wedding day. So I love being able to use my watch and if somebody is texting me, calling me, I just get a quick little vibration on my wrist and can quickly respond back right through my watch. The third way that I love using Apple Watch is for quick voice notes. And I love taking little voice notes during my shoots, whether it's a small engagement shoot or family session or a wedding day, in order to keep track of moments and things that I wanna remember, whether it be something that can improve the client experience or whether it's something that I might want to include in a social media post. I just have a horrible memory. So I love to do myself a solid and jot it down while it's fresh. And my favorite app for this is Just Press Record and I actually have it in my custom watch interface right down here in the center. And if you click that and then click the record button, we can record a real quick little voice memo. Uh, this is just something that I wanna remember later on. It might be the bridesmaid's dress designer or the dress designer for the wedding dress, or it might be uh, a fun story that they told me or something that was special or meaningful to them. Whatever it happens to be, you record it, you finish. And what's great is this automatically gets sent to your phone and inside the Just Record app inside your phone, it gets translated to text. And so what I love to do is take this text and add it into my client CRM to remember later on and review or add it to my social media app to write a caption that's 
totally personal and customized to them. So these are some of my favorite ways for using Apple Watch on shoots. I have one more tip to share for how you can use it to get really good behind the scenes content for reels and social media. But first, if you're new to my channel and you enjoy videos like this dedicated to helping photographers uplevel their craft and build a business that fills your heart and your bank account, be sure to smash that subscribe button or just give it a little love tap to stay in the loop for future videos like this one. All right, bonus tip. Another way of using your Apple Watch on shoots is as a remote for getting behind the scenes clips for social media. So I'll often have an assistant help with this on wedding days, but for smaller shoots, or if you don't have an assistant, you can easily set up a phone uh, with just a tripod to use your watch app as a remote. And so the only thing you wanna do is make sure that you're on video when setting up your phone, and then you can just place it out wherever. And if we come into our watch here, you'll see in the lower right-hand corner, the final thing I have in my watch menu is my remote. And this will plug right in with my phone. So you can see uh, the footage here. And if we come into this menu here, I can switch it to the front camera. So you can really quickly switch back and forth between cameras to be able to control which camera you're using for filming. And then we can record right here on our watch. This is a great way of capturing uh, clips for stories, for reels, just showing behind the scenes of you working, showing a little bit of your process. So that's some of my favorite apps and ways of using the Apple Watch on shoots. Is there anything I missed or any apps that you love that would be worth checking out? Let me know in the chat below. I always love checking out new things. And if you enjoy this kind of video content, let me know and perhaps I'll do another sharing my favorite apps for working from home and productivity outside of shoots. And until next time, happy shooting and I will catch you in the next video.